Get access to over 160 bonus videos in the back catalog, new ones weekly, Q&As, a Discord that I actually appear in, and help fund one of the few fully independent channels left on YouTube. Support the habit at patreon.com slash doseofbuckley. I thought we'd gotten past the whole songs that are so bad they're hilarious going viral thing. Of course, everyone remembers Rebecca Black's Friday, as well as many of the other ARK Music Factory girls who paid for a shot at stardom and got shit on more than a Central Park bench. But you may also remember Hot Problems, Chacaron Macaron, It's Every Day Bro, songs that, perhaps out of spite for having their own eardrums assaulted by them, people said, someone else has to share in this misery with me, and sent them to their friends. But we haven't really had one of these for a while. so. I guess we were due. And a couple weeks ago, the internet was introduced to Katie Noel and her new song, Southern, via this clip that was seen more than 10 million times. Scuffs on my beans, wearing these jeans, roadside go balls, SCC. Smoking, drinking, fighting, riding, races, trackers, hard to straight, and southern bells here right beside this damn good day with a fish and bite and top of water, sinking bobbers. I get these looks from my mama, kick gas from my father, come on, survive it, we live it, still in hearts with the shit in granite, fried chicken, cat head biscuits, summertime cold beer, sweet smoke brisket. What's this song and a sump pump got in common? Oh, <laughs> they both suck shit, I tell you what. It's just as many country tropes as you can jam in a song in three minutes. Wrapped by a girl who looks like the only place she drives a pickup truck to is the mall to buy all the makeup they have. What did Twitter have to say? This is the worst song in the history of Earth. I will accept no questions at this time. Whoever her friends are that allowed her to make this song and then post it on the internet, they aren't her real friends. I just know she smells like stale twisted tea. This makes Kid Rock look like the Beatles, what the fuck did I just watch? And, even though the song's not political, someone had to take a swipe at the right for no reason. Well, we know where she was on January 6th. But I'd like to address the first person there. This is the worst song? It's bad, I'll give you that. But, I don't believe it's even the worst country rap song. So, perhaps you're not familiar with Hick Hop, a genre that blends perhaps the two most divisive and seemingly polar opposite genres of rap and country together. Sometimes it's country singing blended with rap verses, like of course Florida Georgia Line and Nelly's Cruise. Sometimes it's straight rapping with country tropes, like Sir Mix-a-Lot's classic Buttermilk Biscuits, Bubba Sparks' Country Folks, the Moonshine Bandit's Get Loose, and Big Smo's Workin', which, I'm dead serious, that song will hype you up. But is Katie Noel's Southern the worst example of the genre? I submit to you, for your consideration, three country rap or hip hop songs that I think are as bad or worse. Number three is Colt Ford's Chicken and Biscuits. Lord of mercy, here she comes, behind the wheel of a pickup truck. Mud slanging, she's singing, country girl just doing her thing. And ain't nothing like my backwoods baby, drive my tractor, drive me crazy. Likes hunting, loves fishing, and she can hold her own in the kitchen. From 2010, Colt Ford's biggest hit is no different than what we just heard. A woman who likes driving pickup trucks and tractors, hunting and fishing, plus she can cook? It feels like what you'd get if you said to someone, write a parody rap song about a country girl. Except, it's not a parody. While Colt Ford isn't meant to be taken super seriously, he's not mocking the idea of country rap. He is a country rapper. Later on in the song, he goes through even more tropes. She can wear high heels, but she prefers cowboy boots. She'll drink, dance, and fight on Friday, but Sunday, she'll be singing in the church choir. Basically, Katie Noel is the girl that Colt Ford's talking about. I think these two songs are as equal as a Q-tip dipped in acid, or a rusty nail that someone pissed on. Does it really matter which is worse? They're both something you really don't want in your ears. Number two is Brad Paisley and LL Cool J's Accidental Racist. Rewrite history 
This song came out 10 years too early in my opinion. If it had come out this year, it'd be the culture war anthem. It's all about a white guy who didn't mean to be racist by wearing a confederate flag t-shirt. But also, I mean try and see it from his point of view. He's just a proud rebel son with a lot to learn. And after all, he didn't do anything. It was his ancestors. Sure, he could just wear an American flag t-shirt, or literally any other t-shirt, you know, instead of the flag of the losing team that wanted to keep slaves, but, uh, I don't know, can't rewrite history. LL Cool J shows up to maybe deliver the most absurd lyrics in the history of rap, as he tries to single-handedly mend relations between black and white people, by saying, if you don't judge my do-rag, I won't judge your red flag, and... If you don't judge my gold chains, I'll forget the iron chains. Hey, if you don't make fun of how I dress anymore, I'll forget about slavery. <laughs> what a compromise! Whatever you got paid to say this, it was not enough, LL. He then says, R.I.P. Robert E. Lee, but I gotta thank Lincoln for freeing me. Mr. Paisley, Mr. Cool J, you did get black and white people to agree on one thing. That when the recording studio called to let you know they were ready for you, you should have just stayed the fuck home. And number one is the Jaga Boys, Mud Jug. I can't stand when I'm dipping When I'm spitting in a bottle I forget and start to sip it Then I start to get sick, sick Spit out my dip, dip Throw away the bottle And say that I'm gonna quit This song is about a portable spittoon Called a mud jug You see, when you use chewing tobacco Or dip, as it were People often have to carry a plastic bottle with them And apparently, according to the Jaga Boys One of the biggest problems is that because you're a fucking idiot who jams gross-ass chewing tobacco in your mouth voluntarily, you forget that's what the thick, viscous liquid is that's in the bottle. And then, you sometimes accidentally drink it. The problem, however, would be solved if you used something that didn't look like something you drink out of, and was far more inconvenient and even more conspicuous to carry around. Something like, say, a mud jug. This song, which appeared on their 2013 album Reloaded One, but was uploaded to YouTube two years before that, is actually a fucking advertisement for an actual product, sold on a website called mudjug.com, which still exists and looks like it was made in 2008. If I'd known about this song in 2011, it would have been on the worst songs list for sure. Besides the fact that it's five fucking minutes about a cup you spit chewing tobacco into, the rapping is horrendous, the beat sucks, and the video looks like something made for cable access TV by high school kids. Sadly, the Jaga Boys quit making music in 2014, after the release of their album Tailgate Music hit number 22 on the US country chart, number 17 on the US rap chart, and number 155 on the Billboard Top 200. Always good to go out on top. So there you go, three songs that are as bad, or worse, in my not at all humble opinion, than Katie Noel's Southern. She didn't compare jewelry to restraints put on human beings who were forced to work for free, and she didn't try and sell you a plastic cup to spit your mouth cancer into. She just made a low effort song about hunting, fishing, fighting, mud and drinking, and eating catfish. She's basically Luke Bryan with tits and tattoos. Feel free to work that into your next song, Katie. My gift to you.